So I ended up saving a village and changed the world, but I ended up losing a foot in the process. I saved the world, and in the process, lost everything but a foot. Do you think I can? Fine. This is amazing! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. You need two of those to walk up the wall, you quad. Hey! You all got into this crossover fighting game too? You mean Jump Force? Yeah, glad you could join us. We were hoping you would. Oh, well, uh, yeah. That's the game I'm here for. Exactly. Like I'd ever join some other fighting game. <laughs> yeah. Someone bet that I couldn't just eat one vague brand potato chip. True. They're just so good. Plus, it's part of their slogan. Big, Big brand chips, you just can't eat one! They may be good, but I can eat just one. Oh, yeah? Let's see. Just one chip. Specifically, this one. <laughs> ah, that was good. Left me thirsty, though. If you eat too much chips, you'll get sick. Down on the little bang. And now it's time for Ask a Chew. Hey doggy, do you own a lightsaber? Oddly enough, he does. I used it to slice bread in the 70s. Now, uh, how does this work again? You gotta use some force. Mm -hmm. Use both hands. Mm -hmm. Try shaking it up and down. <laughs> so much for being suitable for kids. <laughs> you got it in my eye! <laughs> Whoops. I, I can't feel my face. Yeah, that part is missing. Uh, I'm gonna go to the hospital now. Yeah, go and call the wambulance. <sighs> Tunes these days. And now it's time for Ask a Chew. What's funnier, a silent show or a cartoon with a lot of noise? I think it's better to talk to someone who has experience with silent comedy and sound. Hey doggy, what do you think is funnier? What? I said, what's funnier? Silence or... What? I said... What? What'd you say? What's funnier? Silent cartoons or... Back up! I can't hear you with all this nothing blaring in my ears! Huh? <laughs> Has mankind been so cruel to bestow this horrid abomination in the Sonic franchise to torture its fans? Oh, Sonic. Never quite got that hedgehog on Ritalin's first show, but I don't get why he needed this so-so revival with that Red Baron of a Dr. Egg scrambling company when he already had a steadily declining success. More like Sonic Bust, am I right? <laughs> But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna put the nearest hospital on speed dial because I'm turning the fanboys whining into a drinking game! So if I follow all the cartoons on this hedgehog, we've gone from wacky shenanigans, action drama, rock band revolution, cross-dimension anime weirdness, and then back to wacky shenanigans! Proving the more some things change, the more the fans of this franchise have wasted their life! I thought the war was over! Why is everyone wearing bandages?! For the love of deviant art, do all video game characters now look like inbred Mad Max hipsters? If this red person is called Knuckles because he has spikes on his knuckles, then how come this blue person isn't called Back? There's no logic here! 
All the characters have been redesigned. Sonic has a bunch of bandages, Knuckles hit up the steroids, Stills thinks he's the leader from Digiman now, and Amy bought herself a second dress. I'd say now they look like a bunch of totally cool dudes. But let's face the facts, Sonic was always a totally cool dude! Knuckles? I knew he was a bit slow, but in this show he's a complete moron! I don't understand how he gets up in the morning without choking on his own drool! It's a smart show! By that I mean it knows it's dumb! A game so bad you'll mace a GameStop employee over? Sega, you got other video games you can adapt into cartoons! Get the hedgehog off of life support! Ah, yeah, sweet baby Huey's awkward adolescent years! It's like a bunch of different thoughts have been fighting over who controls my mouth today! So it was brought to my attention that Ben 10 got itself another season. Except this time around, Ben split up with his pals Gwen Stacy and Alice Cooper and joined forces with the Avatar alien cat version of every single rebellion cop partner ever. One thing that ain't changed about this show, though, plenty of alien bad guy butt kicking and plenty of things that look like they came from the costume bargain bin. Seriously, what is with the watches doing all manner of technical hoodoo except for telling time? When did transmogrifying watches suddenly became the end thing? And how does this show keep getting another season? <laughs> so, uh, did I avoid the warranty? Tom, Roy, and I watched this epic journey of a tune series. So Steven Universe is about a kid named Steven who has the gemtastic rejects of Josie and the Pussycats. Poisonly, I like the box-headed one. As adoptive parents. So, uh, something. Apparently, Steven's the product of a hobo guitar player named Greg and a big gem Josie gal named Rose Quartz who went to Jared and got a baby with magic hoodoo powers. That he can't use for some reason. Seriously, this show lost me since the first episode! How the heck can Steven use his powers without even knowing how to use them? Actually, it's explained in a later episode that most of his powers come from extreme emotions of caring. It's practically hinted every other episode. Okay, so why did the crazy gem ladies raise Steven when his dad is around and about? Because he doesn't want to get involved in the gems' business. Plus, the gems vowed to protect the reincarnation slash child of their leader, Rose Quartz. And how about the fact that the purple one and the neurotic one getting into more fights than Scrappy-Doo in the entire universe? Amethyst was a creation from gem technology bent on creating gem colonies on Earth while wiping out any non-gem life on the planet. Just what the hug and- Many more questions about plot points later. Ah, so that's why everything is the way they are in this show. Yep. Ah, well it doesn't change the fact that I hate this bright mess of a moving show anyway! Only now I hate it and know everything that's going to happen instead of hating it while wondering what could be in that crazy plot web! And what's with everyone crying? Jeez, someone call the Wambulance! Yeah, okay. Well, I like this show, and if I were to give it a score, it'd be... Great. I tell ya, tunes these days! I... I'm speechless. Just... speechless. Look, I know I'm old. That's my shtick. I don't care much for cartoons past Harry Truman's time in office. I make a yoke, you laugh. I know that! But... Wow, this really got me riled up. This? No other cartoon has ever made me feel as old as Breadwinners does. Nigh bread delivery guys bust mechanic monster who gives a rip? Nothing in the show is appealing. The animation is lazy, it's attitude, obnoxious, the music, incomprehensible! And this is how you draw beaks now? I'd be surprised that these things are considered ducks, but Nick couldn't get the look of cats right years ago. This is aimed at the tiniest of newborns! This started from a YouTube flash tune that wasn't meant to go anywhere, but gained millions of hits? I believe it, Mac! I know Nickelodeon puts kids first, but can you at least aim for the older crowd at the same time so we don't have to deal with the equivalent of a kid fiddling with a door stopper on the wall? I hear the other animation networks do that just fine now. Eh, it could be worse, I suppose. It could be another problem solvers. <sighs> hmm? I said get back in the closet! <laughs> 
Now you listen, Kyle. I need you to stop chasing tell around here. I've been getting tons of complaints from the women, and if I catch you doing it one more time, you're through. I mean it this time. Do it again and you're fired. You hear me? Fire! Want more cartoons? Click on one of the videos, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can see new cartoons early by becoming a Patreon or channel member.